Certain key attributes make a business successful and can be synthesized into a stepwise process of how businesses succeed. Keep watching to find out more. Defined mission. The purpose of a small business is critical to the operation of all areas of the organization. It assists the entrepreneurs in growing the firm with a large aim in mind. It offers employees something to strive for and provides them a feeling of purpose. It also informs clients about the company's values and fosters personal relationships. Your goal is more than just a flag proclaiming your support for something. Your company should operate by its goal. Long-term goals. Successful businesses have both short and long-term goals. Long-term goals are vital, whether they be investments in new technology that will not be available for several years or aiming for a particular level of growth in the next decade. Instead of bouncing from tiny success to small success, a long-term aim integrates those modest victories into a larger one. Focusing on customers. The most successful businesses prioritize customer care and the customer experience. The first stage is to develop items and services that clients desire. However, concentrating on customers extends beyond your products. Customers are fed up with dealing with businesses via phone menus and automated chatbots. They're looking for a human connection. A consumer wants to know that their company is appreciated and that you will endeavor to address their difficulties. A few negative client experiences may have a significant influence on how well like to company is. Retaining employee talent. Good managers help a successful business maintain good personnel on the payroll. Another approach is to create a purpose with strong core principles in which workers may believe. The most successful businesses identify and seek to retain their top employees. That entails more than just good compensation and a few perks. Offering additional training opportunities and other incentives, such as telecommuting days, are common approaches for businesses to retain their finest employees. Another example is benefit packages that provide flexible sick and vacation day options. Finally, employees must be aware that chances for advancement, such as moving up the ladder or laterally within the business, exist. You won't lose someone to a similar position at another firm this way. Great management team. Successful businesses, large and small, require effective management from the top down to foremen and shift supervisors. Quality leaders provide communication, a natural business culture, and clear goals and objectives to their staff. Criticism is constructive and employees feel appreciated while also knowing where they need to improve. A good leader embodies the corporate culture follows norms and rules, and serves as an example to workers. Finally, successful leaders make their staff feel appreciated. Being a bad leader isn't just about making poor decisions for the company. In fact, a bad leader can make good financial or marketing decisions, yet lead a team of miserable employees. From failing to empathize with an employee who struggles to communicate in an unclear or frustrating manner, bad leaders inspire employees to quit or switch departments left and right. In picking out leaders at your business, it's important to have an expert who whispers advice and coaches you on what suitable steps you can take. Do you need the services of a small business coach for your business? Then visit our site to book a free call with one of our small business coaches now. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.